Welcome to the badge. We're here for Chelsea Liverpool at Stamford Bridge for the match. What are your thoughts on the game today? What's your gut feeling telling you? Anything going to happen from the Chelsea manager bounce? I think my gut feeling, um, um, uh, sorry for the bad la uh, English la language, um, uh, we just moved here from uh, Berlin uh, three years ago, but um, my gut feeling is like uh, Liverpool will win uh, at least three to two because they need to, um, to follow up um, Tottenham and uh, we are Liverpool supporters since three years because uh, our favourite team in, in Germany, Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, was the, the first German team to support uh, Liverpool for the Hillsbury catastrophe by money. So there's a fan, uh, fan friendship and um, we hope they win today. But it's a, it will be a tough game, what do you think? Uh, I, think I think it's a 2-1 for Liverpool because they, they have to try really hard to catch up for any hopes of the Champions League and yeah, hopefully 2-1. Okay, so do you guys still have full faith in Klopp? At the moment, yeah? Uh, yes. Um, he said yes straight away. I, I, I said less and uh, yes in a more ambivalent uh, way. I, I think um, it will be difficult because um, he's a tough, like, kick and rush, like, pressing, uh, pressing uh, guy. And I think. Um, kick and press. Kick and press, yeah. And I think uh, it will be a hard season at the end. If they lose today, so this is a crucial game. If they lose today, they will maybe lose the possibility, the chance of um, qualifying for the for the Champions League. So what's your gut telling you on that? You reckon you're going to do it? Uh, at the end, yes, because they have more guts, uh, more more stomach, more more. Um, how do you say? More, more um, uh, determination. More, pressure, more. Oh, that. Uh, um, more self-confident than Chelsea, no? More experience. More experience and they will turn it around. I think so, no? I think they'll do it for club. Okay, so, okay. I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about your players now, yeah? Trent Alexander-Arnold, this season, do you think these criticisms about his defending are justified? Unfortunately, I think yes, it's qualified uh, and it's, uh, it's uh, reasonable uh, because his positioning to the ball is always, in, in defending, is always kind of wrong. You know, he's so precise in, in doing what says Flanke, crosses. Uh, doing crosses and in the offensive part he's great. So, so you, he you don't play you in the different uh, position. You don't believe he's being exposed by the, the midfield? like He should be exposed in the midfield uh, and not at the right defender. No, I mean, like, the, do you think the midfield used to help him more? The likes of Wijnaldum and uh, Henderson, when their legs used to be fresh, they used to help him out on that side. You think he's just getting the defense is being suffering for the, the the midfield at the moment? Yes, I think so. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah. So okay, so FSG, what do you think about these guys? Like, do you think who, what do you think is more the problem this season? Klopp. FSG. What do you mean? What's the biggest? What the the, the owners? Because I'm hearing a lot of the Liverpool fans saying that the owners are the biggest problem. What do you think is the biggest problem this season for Liverpool? What do you think is just missing? Honestly, I think um, if I see it um, from a German perspective, uh, Jurgen Klopp was always like getting the most, the very most out of uh, uh, the team, and I think it was a big mistake to to sell uh, uh, Mane to to Munich because he was like uh, 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 the most uh, controlling in terms of like uh, as a ten uh, behind the. Uh, Strikers, and I think this was the most uh, important mistake. And I think uh, Klopp, I mean, though I like him and I kind of uh, know him a little bit, his his time uh, ran out. You know, like it was uh, with his German uh, teams with Mainz uh, and Dortmund. After seven years, 
you know, like uh, you're, you're getting tired as a coach, you're getting tired. Uh, 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 so the team is like so much under pressure always. He is pushing, he's pushing more than Pep Guardiola is pushing and more than uh, Thomas Tuchel uh, is pushing. They're more like brain focused, they're more intelligent. Uh, kind they're of, more like, cerebral he's managers. More the punk rock guy. Uh, and this is for no surprise, he's friends with uh, Campino, a German punk rock band. So this is all this mentality is like the brutal German. and it, I personally think this comes to an end, uh, unfortunately, because I really, really like him and I really like Liverpool much more than Chelsea. I think Chelsea is just a boring, poor, posh uh, club. I've, I've never seen such a boring pre pre-game uh, situation <laughs> like this. I mean, if you go to Anfield, this is fun, but this is just like... Uh, Roman Abramovich kind of fucking <laughs> bastards. Really, I don't like it at all. Okay, I'll ask you guys, both of you guys ask two final questions. No, I, I need both of your answers on this one. Klopp, are you Klopp in or out? In. Okay, I'll come back to him. Klopp in or out? In, because he's, he's better than anyone else they'd be able to get on. I think he's the kind of coach who able to like turn things around and next season with motivation you can get them really high going and, yeah. so you think that the owner should back him yeah let him get some midfielders in the summer yeah yeah exactly go in or out i think if they lose today then out unfortunately Ooh, so this is a this is a critical game because this means if they lose the champions league and europe league uh, maybe even qualification there's no money for for, in, uh, for investments and then it's like a, a huge break for this expectation in, in Liverpool and this is it's such a tough uh, city I mean they, they really want it and um, I think this is the crucial game today okay final question guys score prediction for the game today 3-2 Liverpool. Liverpool I'm saying 2-1 to Liverpool so. Okay, guys, we've got a very conflicted, uh, experienced Liverpool fan here and a very confident one on the other side. Liverpool wins, they've both predicted. Let's see what happens. Don't forget to subscribe, guys.